ordered the massacre on Tarsonis. Now we just need to broadcast those records. Mirahan gave us a tip that might help. Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead... My people established a new colony on Haven. It was going well, but now the colony's gone dark. They're not responding on any frequency. We need to get there and see what the situation is. They might have been exposed to the Zerg virus, and they are on the verge of Protoss space. Jim, I'm worried that something has gone very wrong. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no contact from... Sir, there's a Protoss fleet holding in orbit. They're disrupting all communications to the surface, and it looks like they're powering up their main weapons. Jim, you have to stop this. Matt, open a channel to the Protoss. Let's see how diplomatic they're feeling. Intaro Tassadar, James Raynor. I am Executor Selendis. Your bravery and service to Ire are known to us. Intaro Tassadar, Selendis. Listen, with all due respect, your fleet needs to pull back. The people on Haven are no threat to you. Our observers detected Zerg hive spores infesting the colonists. They must be purified. If you wish to undertake this mission in our stead, we will permit it. Jim, some of my people are infested. But you can't let the Protoss just destroy them all. If you keep the Protoss at bay, I know I can find a cure for the infestation. The only cure for Zerg infestation is purification by fire. You know this to be true, James Raynor. I can cure them, Jim. Believe me. If you choose to resist us, we will meet in glorious combat. The choice is yours, James Raynor. We await your answer. We're almost to Haven, but there's still been no con- I ain't gonna stand by while you wipe out a whole colony, Salendus. Not while there's still a chance we can save them. Then it shall be an honor to meet you on the field of battle. Your reputation as a commander is most impressive. I trust you will live up to it. Thank you, Jim. Thank you so much. Whatever's happening on Haven, my people don't deserve to be wiped out. We'll make this right. I'll find a cure. Jim, the Protoss are already closing in on the colony. My people don't stand a chance. We're gonna have to stop that purifier of theirs before it can wipe the whole place out. Get everyone evacuated to the main base, Ariel. If the purifier gets that far, we're done. Or well, at least we can count on them being methodical. They'll stop to burn every settlement along the way. You sure know how to pick a fight, cowboy. I got something that'll help you. I called in some favorites and got us Viking schematics. Remember, they can change from a jet into a combat walker and back again. Pretty nifty stuff. Jim, the purifier's drawing power from several Protoss Nexus. Its shields are completely impenetrable. How can you stop something like that? Easy. We knock out those Nexi first, then we take down the purifier. Don't worry, Ariel. We'll stop them. Hey guys, what is going down? Aries here with Green in the StarCraft II Wings of Liberty Brutal Guide. And uh, we're doing safe What if I'm not here? Uh, well, that would definitely be a problem. Um, so, oh, hey YouTube, didn't see you walk in here. <laughs> so, um, on this mission, I mass Vikings. Like, if, if you want to know the strategy, it's mass Vikings. Um, so, it's not a lot of... Hard. Mass them Vikings, boy. Yeah, this is the first mission where you get air units. Um, I kind of rushed to this mission. Um, I haven't done any of the Tosh, mich Tosh missions. Um, I tried to avoid a lot of the artifact missions, which actually, after this mission, I'm going to be doing the... Or I did already do the, uh, the one where you get siege tanks. So I was kind of holding out for air units, just because... Um, they make life so much easier. Yes, sir. 
So, yeah, the basic strategy is put a few bunkers in your base to cover the entrances and get tons of Vikings because they are Transformers, Sir, robots in disguise. <laughs> Um, I thought the, the best part ready for war? is that I saved this mission because I didn't want to make the moral choice settlement, until like the very last point. <laughs> I had done every other mission but this stupid thing. Yeah, so I kind of skipped ahead to uh, when I had a pretty sizable Viking force. I didn't make you guys sit there while I macroed. That would be boring. You gotta look at everything he does or you'll die. Yeah, and, and something about this guy is never want to make things boring. So I've totally followed that all the way through. So, uh, following right here, you can take out that warp prism, it'll deactivate like three of the cannons. Why the Protoss are powering the cannons with warp prisms, who knows? But, when you take that out, it's gonna pretty much deac deactivate most of the defenses of the first Nexus. Um, and there's an annoying sentry who's trying How to kill How can they see you when you're up there? Yeah, I was really confused because I landed on a cliff um, later in the level and they just started shooting at me. I think they, I think it like hacks and they give everybody vision. Or <laughs> gives the AI vision of you. Energy output is peak. The hacks. The are destroy the the hacks. hacks. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, That's what I needed. Um... Yeah, basically what I did is I just landed all my Vikings and then walked into the base, and the Zealots pose no threat. So, just Aww. take out the cannons. I love Zealots. They're annoying. They're always annoying in these missions. They never hurt me. It's the Stalkers and the High Templar and the Sentries that cause me... And the Archons. Oh, the Archons. Um, oh, those things are evil. Yes. So, yep, that's the first Nexus. Pretty easy to take down. Anything that's light is just destroyed by Archons. Ugh. Sucks. Well, anything biological, anything. The Archons are basically the uh, Protoss anti-Ultra Lisk. So, yeah. They're pretty damn annoying no matter what you're playing against them. So, here. Get them carriers. So, they're gonna like, send some Void Rays and carriers to destroy the colonist bases and just make sure you don't let them destroy it. Have successfully because that, that would oh, not yeah, be good. Oh yeah, they leave you uh, minerals. Oh yeah, they it. yeah they drop some stuff when they leave. Um, I think I pick it up here soon. And yeah, Protoss just being smart again, putting all their stuff in warp prisms. And I'm not even sure if the void ray or the what are these uh, Vikings? Uh, the upgrade like there's an upgrade to increase their range. I'm not sure if that's if they're already at nine, or if they I are got at... some ridiculous range anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I I just don't even want to think about what it's going to be like when if I upgrade their range again. So unfortunately, I kind of missed micro there and lost a lot of my Viking fleet. But uh, luckily, yeah, I if it's that Colossus, I could see him. He's like, haha, I'm gonna get you. Yeah. So unfortunately, we had a few Colossus running in on our base, so that was not very fun to do. And luckily, Vikings are great for defending everything. So, just killed the zealot there, and I think my starport got pretty close to burning down there. So, burn, baby, burn. For some reason, I pulled a lot of SCVs that I didn't need to. But I have no clue how you're supposed to actually uh, get the purifier to stop its rampage of death on Brutal. <laughs> but um. Yeah, I kind of beat this level because of a weird glitch where the mothership just stopped moving after it destroyed the second settlement. Um, I, I played through the level and I could not understand how to do it. And I think I had to reload a checkpoint like five times. And then once I reloaded it to the save where it stopped doing anything, it just stopped moving. And I have no reason, no explanation why it did that. So. I wouldn't land that with an immortal. Oh, no, that was a hallucination. Um, really? The one on the right isn't, but the one on the left... Well, it's kind of... It was. Uh, yeah, one of them is a hallucination, I can tell you that much, because I saw it getting warped in by the uh, sentry. But uh, my Magic. rally... Magic. Magic. <sighs> um, <laughs> so... Yeah, basically, evil. if you're going to break into a clear. Nexus base area, you want to make sure you land, not on top. 
just because they can get because once they start doing the animation they are vulnerable to get hit so just uh, land in a non dangerous area and I didn't fix my rally point for some reason yeah you keep putting on units that die <laughs> yeah yeah I'm pretty bad with waypoints um, I mean it's good if I have like a Thor or something of something that w I'm sure won't die but if I'm not sure then I have problems and for some the reason hacks. so there unfortunately got I went right past the I don't know why I just landed those um, I just went right past the purifier and uh, right away <laughs> so basically we have one nexus left now but it's it, 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 there's a lot of problems with it just because it has a ton of archons and you're really strapped for time I really wish that the glitch hadn't happened so that you know I could have shown the correct way to do it but uh, if you guys want an easy workaround it's just keep reloading checkpoints until the mothership just stops moving um, Excellent work. So, yeah. So you're just going to see the mothership just sit there. Or the purifier. So basically I guess. get really, 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 really lucky. Yes. And have the game glitch on you like Ares. <laughs> so basically what I did here was I realized the mothership wasn't going to move. Oh yeah, and they're going to send carriers to your base too after the second base is destroyed. So be, wa be watching out for that. But once I figured out that the mothership wasn't going to move for any reason, um, you know, just stood in my base and got a ton of Vikings and, you know, pretty easy. And I repaired all my other ones, got a nice close-up of Vikings. The fleet is ready. Yes, and then I moved out with my fleet of doom. So, yeah, I wish it hadn't had to come to that, but... Yeah, it happens, right? Yeah. So, again, they're just going to be making a ton of hallucinations. Yeah, all those voiders right there are hallucinated. Um, I don't think you can land on that high ground right there. And you need to snipe all of the cannons. And then kill the forces. Then go kill yourself with the mothership, doll. Yeah, watch out for those side storm. Those can, pretty wreck, those can wreck your Vikings pretty badly. That's more kind of like heavy. That's how it be. Yeah. I mean light, light. What? Not armor. Wait, what? Wait, aren't Viking Vikings uh, heavy? Uh, you mean armored? Yes. Then they wouldn't do much. It's only like light, like zerglings and stuff that get great. Um, and marines. Yeah, it... Well, it, their their Gatling gun it does it's non-discriminatory. It does I think it's like 12 damage and it has attack speed of fast or something. I mean, <laughs> the only problem with the Viking in grad mode is it's so its range is so low and it has so little health. Oh yeah, so here the purifier is gonna do its crappy vortex bullshit that doesn't do jack shit. I mean, it's the most stupid ass ability ever. The only thing that I can ever see. It just see delays it, you. I know. I, the only thing I can ever see it being useful for is the vortex nuke, which is kind of hilarious. But they fixed. So. Yeah, it, I'm, it's too bad you can't do the force field colossus glitch with it anymore. That was pretty funny. Force field what? Uh, you put the vortex around it, then you put a ton of force fields around it, so when the forces got out, they'd all be constricted to one spot, and then you have a Colossus attack them, and they all die instantly because of Splash. It was pretty funny. It was in the beta. Uh, but I kind of understand why that happened, though. Yeah. They had to do a bunch of nerfs to the vortex. But, uh... Beta. But, yeah, Sorry. after the purifier calls in its... or after it does its mass recall, it really does nothing. So, it's yeah, like, I'm gonna run away. Protoss are retreating. You've done it. Well, you see you guys. As the stories say, James Raynor, I hope your belief in these colonies will be vindicated. <laughs>